it is no secret the British royal family is really big on tradition, <laughs> and that tradition starts very early. That's right. With a new royal baby on the way, we are taking a look at the iconic baby carriages used throughout the family's generations. Aaron McLaughlin gives us the inside look. Returning home, the young couple were reunited with their son, Prince Charles. It's the royal standard for baby carriages. Here's Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip proudly pushing Charles. There's even a young Princess Diana. The first royal carriage was made by British company Stirling Cross, a gift to King George VI for baby Elizabeth. Now Kate and her George are carrying on the tradition. Sterling Cross CEO Nick Paxton took CNN for a royal baby buggy test drive. Push up on the handle and turn like so. I see. This gives you a nice visibility of your baby as well. Paxton shows us the pram, as carriages are called in Britain, the company handmade for Prince George. It's a cross between the traditional pram of royal babies past and a more modern baby buggy. It was built to grandmother Carol Middleton's liking. Did the Duchess of Cambridge ask for anything specific? What was that process like? Well, we, we supplied a couple of extra accessories, including an insect net that could be so that the, uh, the pram could be used. It was a very good summer when Prince George was born. Our head of design went uh, to, the, to the Middleton family home and presented it uh, to the Duchess's mum. And we did a full demonstration so that the product was safe and the product was used correctly. Thanks to the Middletons, an insect net is now a standard feature of all Sterling Cross prams. Duchess of Cambridge is certainly helping us with our product development. Prince George's pram is not cheap. It retails for as much as $2,400. And that's modest compared to some of the company's heritage carriages. This exclusive edition goes for over $7,300. The pricey prams are handmade in this English factory, not much different from the company's 1930s workspace. The result, a baby carriage fit for royalty. I can imagine it could be pretty nerve-wracking developing a pram for the future King of England. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a huge honor. Safety and has to be a top concern. Yeah, safety is a top concern in all of our products, but obviously for, for a future monarch. Um, but yeah, it, it was made in the same manner as all of our products. It was just made with that extra special ingredient for an extra special customer. Paxton says any plans for the next royal baby are top secret, but it looks likely Prince George's sibling will carry on the family tradition. Aaron McLaughlin, CNN, Yorkshire.